So I know I've already uploaded a video today, but I thought because I've been redoing my altar, um, I thought you might like to see it. I've got a whole cabinet dedicated to all my witchcraft stuff. I used to be Wiccan and then I decided that I wasn't entirely sure about the whole religious part of it, so at the moment I'm still deciding. If you want to know more about Wicca, then you can check out my friend's channel and she's done a video on it, so I'll link you to that. We'll start in the middle. It's all done on sort of levels. We start with the ginormous pentagram, which my friend gave me, and that's just the centerpiece to the whole thing. Here I've put down my favourite stone, which is a Labradorite, and it's really pretty. It's really blue, which I really like about it. I put on a sort of charging plate with element stones around it, or what I believe to be representative of the four elements. This one's actually a seashell with a pearl bit in it. On the goddess side, because I split it as fairly as I can into god and goddess sides, um, you've got a white candle for the goddess, a rose quartz, because I feel like that represents the goddess. Um, I think this is a blue agate, but I'm not entirely sure, but it's really pretty stone. And because it's blue, I take it to represent the water element, which is one of the goddesses' elements. I put a little dolphin here. At the moment I'm deciding to represent them with figures of animals, so I've got the dolphin and then the rabbits on the goddess side to represent water and earth. And then for fire and air I've got the phoenix. Um, I've got my little cauldron, which is, it's, it may not be my favourite thing at the moment, I'm not entirely sure what that would be right now, but it used to be my absolute favourite thing and I actually took it all the way to the Lake District and carried it up a mountain at one point. Um, it's got some wax in there from when I burnt a candle in it. Uh, a tiny little broom, a little rabbit sculpture I made. I think that's an Unakite rabbit. A quartz point, a seashell, and then one of the chalices that my friend gave me with a blue lace agate and I think there's an angel light in there as well. On the god side we've got another chalice that my friend gave me that came as a pair and that's got um, a tiger's eye and a citrine in it. We've got another seashell because my element is water so I like to have seashells around and I chose a rounded one for the goddess and a pointed one for the god. This is my athame. It's only a really tiny like spearhead stone. I'm not entirely sure what it is but it's really pretty with all the, like, with all the rainbow colours on it. and. It sits nicely in the hand and it's easily transportable because I like to take things up to the Lake District. Then we've got an well, incense holder with an incense cone in it at the moment. I've got a wand that my friend gave me, a bell, which I sometimes use in ritual, god representation statue, a god candle and then a stone which I think represents the god, especially because of the colour and the shape. And then further down I've got my working candle and I've got a piece of pyrite for the god and some amethyst clusters for the goddess. And then a design that I drew on. Candlestick holders, a spare chalice which is which I found at a car boot sale. Um, various bags of things like these, my Buddhist neighbour gave me them and they've got um, things inside them that can represent the elements. So they've got a candle, a feather, a shell and a flower. Um, matches, very important for lighting candles. A snuffer, yeah, which I think is beautiful. I found that at Carl Boots Hall too. Um, which is very important because you're not meant to blow candles out when you're practising. 
A spare pentagram. In there. A box of shells. Um, my other incense holder. Next drawer down. Has a load of books in it. And a lot of boxes. This one has normal playing cards, so I can do gypsy tarot. And when I do get proper tarot deck, then I'll put in here. Rune stones, which my friend gave me. Well, she actually made them. Um, another box with tarot cards that I made in them. This is a compass, so I can align myself to north. A box with a load of crystals inside. This is my current pendulum, because the other one I made broke. The last two are probably the most exciting. More books. Little paper bags to put stuff in. And then we've got loads of various herbs and stuff. Like a pot of frankincense. Some rose petals that I dried myself. And then loads of paper bags full of stuff. Huge one with loads of jasmine in. And then some water from a stream. This is like a load of coloured candles for working with. If you want to be wicked, if you want to practice witchcraft, you don't have to have all these things, but it's useful too. And it's pretty cool, this one. Then in this one I've got some oils and things. I've got tons of incense, various candles, and stuff like this. And string, and more candles, <laughs> and oil. So yeah, that's basically my whole altar. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed seeing that, and like, if you did, then please leave a comment and like it. Um, remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I'll put the link in the bit below. Thanks.